Welcome Chapel Hill Bulldogs. Chapel Hill ISD hopes everyone had a relaxing and stress-free spring break and has adjusted to the time springing forward. It's been super busy around here these last few weeks, so let's take a moment to bring you up to date about what's been going on in your district. Speaking of super, did you guys know Chapel Hill got a brand new superintendent? Yep, our very own Mr. Lamond Dean was board approved to be our new leader and we could not be more excited. Our little dogs have been busy with things like mock testing at our elementary campuses, Black History Month activities, and Read Across America Dr. Seuss style. To help the younger kids get ready for the upcoming star test, Kissam Elementary welcomed guest speaker, Mr. Brandon, as he helped pump the students up by showing off his mad ninja skills. Our elementary school celebrated Valentine's Day with Wise Elementary watching movies and making Valentine's Day cards for residents at our local nursing home. Kissam Elementary had fun coming out dressed to the nines and busting their best dance moves at the mom and son daddy daughter dance. Jackson Elementary showed off their line dancing skills at their Valentine Mixer. All three elementary schools participated in Read Across America Day Dr. Seuss style since March 2nd was Dr. Seuss's birthday. The schools kicked the event off with a Seussical musical at Kissam. Jackson served their kids some green eggs and ham, and the day ended with a little reading in the dark. We also celebrated 100 days of school. Kiss Sam participated in a 100th day parade and then had a very special guest appearance. Principal McClure's 102 year old grandmother spent her morning reading to the younger students, something those kids will never forget. Speaking of never forgetting, Wise Elementary students put on an unforgettable performance for Black History Month called Milestones of Heritage. From the Underground Railroad Walk to the bus ride with Rosa Parks to the Rock of My Soul dance. Words simply can't do justice to these productions, so go check out Wise's Facebook page and see the full videos. You won't be disappointed. Kissam put on a remarkable African American wax museum where they dressed up as historical and famous African Americans and gave speeches. Jackson Elementary's first and second graders put on a special show called The Box for the Chapel Hill community while Kissam just finished wrapping up Kissam University. People from different professions such as zookeepers, nurses, chefs, police officers, and more demonstrate and speak to the kids at Kissam University. All Chapel Hill schools, and even Mr. Dean and his administration office, participated in World Down Syndrome Day by wearing and showing off their craziest socks. You can check all of these special events out with more pictures and videos on the Kissam, Jackson, and Wise Facebook pages. Okay, moving on to our middle and high schools. Both schools showed out at the twirling competition in Shreveport, with middle school taking second place and the high school coming in first. We've had a few of our Chapel Hill groups and kids make their way onto the news lately. Chapel Hill High School Band was featured in the Tyler Morning News for having a history-making, record-breaking performance at the UIL Solo and Ensemble Contest. The Bulldog Band brought home 89 superior medals. Of those 89, 41 of those students qualified for state. We also had one of our senior band students featured on CBS 19 for making Allstate French horn three years in a row. You can check out his full interview on the website. Senior Caleb Ott received the surprise of his life when presented with a fully paid four-year Presidential Fellow Scholarship to UT Tyler while senior Jonathan Wages advanced to nationals at the Texas Invest Right competition after winning a stock market driven essay. FFA member Sarah Ashton Smith caught a calf at the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo's Calf Scramble winning a $500 gift certificate. The Chapel Hill Highlighters Drill Team racked up several awards at the ADTS Galveston Island Dance Festival, including Best in Class. If you missed those performances, you can catch those over on YouTube. Chapel Hill High School now has a brand new team of highlighters after last week's tryouts. The middle school drama kids blew their audiences away with their rendering of Golly Gee Whiz, full of dancing and singing for the community and again the next day for the other campuses. So in case you missed it, well, you missed out on a memorable show. Chapel Hill High School one-act play Les Miserables competed in district, advanced to by district, and is now headed to area. Good luck to this all-star cast. Last, but never the least, Bulldog Athletics have been on a roll. Both boys and girls basketball advanced to the first round of the playoffs. Chapel Hill Boys Powerlifting took third place in the Boys Regional Powerlifting Meet and sent two lifters to the state meet in Abilene this past weekend. Junior Angel Barroso competed for the second time in the state powerlifting meet, bringing home fourth place. 
while junior Eric Reaper, three-time state qualifier, brought home second place. Boys Varsity Track came home with the gold from both the Jacksonville and Sabine track meets, winning the Sabine meet with over 500 points. Now that all the rain is gone, baseball finally got a few games and is on a roll with an 8-2 start with big wins over White Oak, Longview, Henderson, and Canton. Speaking of baseball, Chapel Hill Bulldog baseball player Parker Hintz signed his letter of intent to play baseball at Tyler Junior College. Soccer is wrapping up and our Lady Bulldogs finish their season as district co-champs and are moving on to the first round of the playoffs. Our Bulldogs finished district in second place and advanced to the first round of the playoffs as well. Chapel Hill's Bass Club will be sending two teams to regionals in Toledo Bend and our girls golf team came in second at Martins Mill Golf Tournament. Behind the scenes of all the sports action are the Chapel Hill student athletic trainers. The Chapel Hill sports medicine students had the opportunity to participate in a Christus Mother Francis sports medicine workshop where they learned all about splinting and casting injured athletes. One more thing before we go. In light of the recent events going on around the country, Chapel Hill administration invited the community to visit any campus of their choice and listen to our local police and district administrators talk and answer questions about how Chapel Hill is making 100% sure your kids stay safe. That wraps up these last few weeks here at Chapel Hill, and we have a few activity-packed weeks left before school is out for the summer, so be sure to stay connected and check out what is happening in your district. Chapel Hill wishes you an awesome three-day weekend, a very happy Easter, and a watchful April Fools.